Hello, we are students of the Warsaw University of Technology and members of the Student Space Association. Our team's name is Scarobotics and we are coming to the University Rover Challenge 2016 with our rover Ares. First, we will tell you about our team and the organization of our project. Then, we will present to you the core design of Ares and how it is prepared to all the challenge tests. At the end, you will see how we worked and how much fun we have participating in the University Rover Challenge 2016. Our team consists of 15 students from four different faculties. Here are some statistics. There are nine students from the Faculty of Power and Aeronautical Engineering, four students from the Faculty of Mechatronics, one student from the Faculty of Electrical Engineering and one student from the Faculty of Physics. There are nine students of robotics or mechatronics, five students of aerospace engineering and one student of photonics. One student is in the first year of studies, eight students in the second year, five students in the third year and one student in the fifth year. We divided ourselves into three sub-teams, the mechanics group, the electronics group and the software and communication group. The mechanics group was responsible for designing all the elements of the rover and integrating them to, the, to form the entire construction. It consists of nine students. Małgorzata Tawazuka, Marta Goli, Marcin Baran, Damian Grabowski, Edyta Żak, Michał Hałoń, Tomasz Miś, Dawid Kazimierczak, and Aleksander Masłowski. The main electronics technician, Michał Kazaniecki, was responsible for the electronic devices and the motors. The software and communication group created the software vital to steer the rover and communicate with it. There were five people in this group. Przemysław Brzęczkowski, Michał Ołdak, Mateusz Surma, Julia Bajoras, and Mikołaj Owczarza. To organize our work, we introduced the project plan and created the Gantt chart. We managed our project in our own original way, which is a modification of NASA ESA project phases. In phase zero, we discussed all the tasks to be done during USV 2016 and we analyzed our previous challenges. In phase A, we planned a general list of things to be done with Rover and we presented them in our team proposal. In phase B, we specified our ideas and designed all the components. In phase C, we bought, manufactured and integrated all the components. Then we changed the NASA ESA project phases and introduced the iteration phase, in which we improved all designed solutions until the system is working reliably. We worked both independently and together during meetings and workshops. Usually such meetings started right after our lectures and lasted until the janitor at our faculty threw us out of the building. Now we would like to present you our rover. Before designing phase, we assumed to build a rover with good motion capabilities, reliability and the durability of construction.
Starting from foundations, we designed simple chassis consisting of two square tubes connected with two cylindrical bars. The chassis is made of aluminum alloys and is durable enough to hold the structure and whole equipment. Wheels design is based on our experience. This year we improved our old design. The spine of the wheel is PCV pipe that is a base for browsers. This solution allows us to increase traction abilities. We also prepared another set of wheels with belt of gum instead of grousers. In order to reduce the mass, we decided that the rover will have four wheels. The frame is connected with wheels by suspension made of aluminum plate, a square tube, a hinge and a group of springs. You can see below that tube that is directly connected to the wheel is also a shelter for motor. A shelter protects the motor from any mechanical and chemical damage. The manipulator is essential to take part in most of tasks. Because of that, it is one of the most important elements in the rover. We decided to use our reliable manipulator from previous year and only make few improvements. Basically, it has a modular design, three arm units and a rotation base. Each module contains the drive and warm gear, which provides self-locking. During competition we will be equipped with two grippers, each one designed for different tasks. One of them has two finger grip and was designed for astronaut assistant task and second one with three fingers grip designed for equipment servicing task. In order to take a sample of soil we will use a simple drill. As power supply we use battery packs with nominal voltage of 25.2 volts divided into two groups. Some are connected directly to motors and some supply the main computer and other electronic devices. To provide stable, low voltage supply we use DC-DC converters. And the main computer communicates with motors, sensors, GPS and inertial measurement unit. All the motors are controlled via drivers. To communicate between base and rover, we use two industrial access points operating on 2.4 GHz frequency band. On rover there is an omnidirectional antenna connected to an access point. In base there is a mast with sector antenna and also an access point. To maintain connection in rough terrain, we equipped rover with detachable repeater which transmits the signal from base to the rover and the opposite. The whole system is designed to hold connection and full HD video streaming at required distance. The software system is designed in a modular way. At the base station we have the main console and the application responsible for video streaming. On the rover we have a similar system, one application for controlling motors, telemetry and data from all sensors. The rover uses a second application for video streaming.